Bloomerfield YouTubers, it's still Sunday the 21st. Everybody remember this, right? Executive order blocking the property of persons involved in serious human rights or abuse corruption by the four authority invested in me as president, the Constitution, United States law, including the International Emergency Economic Powers Act, the National Emergencies Act, the Global Magnitsky Human Rights Act, which I looked it up, doesn't really apply here, public law this, section that, Immigration and Nationality Act, and section 301 of Title III. Uh, Trumpster, President of the United States of America, found that prevalence of security human rights reduced question at other source, blah, blah, blah. We're going to skip all that. You can read it. Uh, therefore, determine that serious human rights, abuse, and corruption around the world constitute an unusual extraordinary threat to national security, foreign policy, and economy of the United States, and hereby declare a national emergency to deal with that threat. We're going to pause here. Section 212F, scope and history of Section 212F, presidential authority to suspend, restrict, entry by proclamation. Section 212 of the Immigration and Nationality Act, INA, gives the President of the United States broad entry to, uh, authority to implement immigration restrictions by proclamation. The statute allows the President to suspend the entry of any aliens or a class of aliens or place restrictions on the entry of a class of aliens temporarily if she or he, she determined that the entry of such aliens would be detrimental to the United States. He's already doing that, right? So, pause again. Uh, the, the three U.S. Code 301 General Authorization to Delegate Functions, Publication of fun Delegations. Uh, the President of the United States is authorized to designate and empower the head of any department or agency in the executive branch or any official thereof who is required to be appointed by and with the advice and consent of the Senate, so it still needs a Senate for that, to perform without approval, ratification, or other action by the President any function which is vested in the president by law, or two, any function which such officers required or authorized by law to perform only with or subject to the approval, ratification, or other action of the president, providing that nothing contained herein shall relieve the president of his responsibility of office. Okay, so we'll pause again. Uh, U.S. Code 1182, inadmissible aliens. Class of aliens ineligible for visas or admission, except or as otherwise provided in this Chapter aliens who are inadmissible under the following paragraphs are ineligible to receive visas and ineligible to be admitted to the United States. Go through it. There's a whole longer list. There's some exemptions, but there's a whole longer list, so they could do whatever they want. We're going to pause again. Okay, 50 U.S. Code 1701, unusual and extraordinary threat, declaration of national emergency, exercise of presidential authorities. Any authority granted to the President by Section 7202 of this title may be exercised to deal with any unusual and ex extraordinary threat which has its source in whole or a substantial part outside the United States to the national current security, foreign policy, or economy of the United States. If the President declares a national emergency with respect to such threat, the authorities granted to the President by Section 1702 may, be, 1702 may only be exercised to deal with an unusual and extraordinary threat with respect to which a national emergency has been declared. Well, he did that in the very first one of this video with that uh, um, the blocking the property of people and such. The uh, purpose of this chapter may not be exercised for any other purpose, blah, blah, blah. You can read the details. But anyway, there it is. He already did it.